Yes, the civil engineering, like every house, it's only as good as the foundations that it's built on. It takes a lot of commitment from all parties. The Ingredients Kitchen project is a significant structure. Um, it has over 2,000 tonnes of structural framework. Yes, the civil engineering, like every house, it's only as good as the foundations that it's built on. Uh, so that, that process has taken some 12 months to design uh, and taking at least another 12 months to finally construct. Uh, that comprises of, of, of drilling into the ground. Uh, as you'll see, it is an old riverbed built up over many years and it is needed us to, to lay some 2,200 CMC's into the, into the ground to strengthen that. Each steel column will be placed on a, on a concrete pile uh, which will be some 600 millimetres in diameter and drilled some 22 metres down into the actual bedrock beneath the site. Only then when we've put those foundations in can we start to build the steel. The Ingredients Kitchen project is a significant structure. Um, it has over 2,000 tonnes of structural framework um, and over 3,000 square metres of steel plate flooring. We are currently progressing with the site installation. We initially erected the uh, support structure for the silo blocks, which are, are being constructed uh, by SCE. So the construction phase is going extremely well right now. We started a couple of weeks ago with the 90 bulk bins, followed then a few weeks later with the 60 dozing bins. And thanks to the good pre-engineering, both leach steel construction and SAE could work in a very fast way to assemble the steel construction and the silos in the best optimum way, which is leading to no standstills on site and a very fast erection pace. Uh, we are now well progressing the structural frame and the cladding for the warehouse aspect of the project. This site is run under the Construction Design and Management Regulations which is part of an EU directive and that requires the client, the principal contractor and the principal designer to work in such a way that it ensures health and safety is maintained before construction starts, during construction and post construction and during the uh, operation of the facility. It takes a lot of commitment from all parties but all parties have gladly given that commitment and they have shared their knowledge and experience and the end product is now being displayed there out on site. So that, that combination of those skills, the bringing together of the local suppliers, of the, the, the consultant engineers, um, the local contractors that, that have strengthened the, the ground with their, their concrete piles, and then the steel constructor who will build the building on top of those piles where we have the envelope in which we can house the machinery that will actually perform the tasks that we've, we've laid before it. <laughs>